left. Sound Sleuth Lab. Jack. Testing one, two. Jack. This cute little project consists of mounting two excellent microphone capsules in an XY configuration, suspending them in a ball with a lot of holes in it, then covering the ball with fur for one self-contained, stereo, windscreen included, on-camera microphone. All using a cold shoe mount so it can be put on top of today's DSLR and mirrorless cameras. This is the video build portion of an Instructable. There's a link to that Instructable in the YouTube description. This is where a full list of parts and the rest of the build information is available. Our first step is to glue the two capsules into the holder. Temporarily press in a capsule. It should fit snug but a little bit loose. Apply a small bit of E6000 glue on two sides, then press the capsule in and rotate it a bit each way to spread the glue. Keep the ground or G connector pointed towards the wire hole. Put in the second capsule the same way, and now let this dry. Strip about two and a half inches of the outer insulation of some Ogami W2697 wire. This is much easier now than after it's attached to the capsule mount and glued in place. Thread the wire through the hole, leaving about three inches sticking out. Apply some of the E6000 adhesive to each side of the wire to hold it in place. Prepare a short piece of wire to connect both the G or the ground and the S or source connections together on each side. Strip back enough insulation on the ends to connect the S and G terminals. Tin the ends and then solder to the capsule's S and G connections. Now twist back the shield and twist together. Unlike what I'm doing now in this video, tin and solder that to a ground connection prior to attaching the red and the white wires. Yep, in my next build I'm going to do it that way. By the way, all of the four solder connections to the capsule outer metal case are connected to ground. Tin the shield and solder to the closest ground connection. Cut the red and white wires back so that there will be some slack. Strip the ends, tin and solder to the D or the drain lead. Now we will connect the other end of the Mogami wire to the stereo 3.5mm jack. First, place the shell in the plastic sleeve over the wire. Do not forget this step. Strip the outer insulation on the Mogami wire, twist back and tin the shield. Strip and tin the ends of the red and white wires. Prep the connector by tinning the ground connection on the inner side. Tin the tip and the ring connection points. Now fold the shield connection up on the Mogami wire then reheat the connection while allowing the tinning on the shield to melt and flow in. Let it cool. Now solder the red to the tip and the white to the sleeve. You can trim these up prior to connecting, but in this case, I didn't. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I didn't really track which is right and left here. For XY mics and XY configurations, I always listen and post, and if I need to, I'll swap the channels. Alright, tuck in the slack and assemble the connector. Note that the plastic sleeve goes over the full inner connector. The wiffle ball part. Now here's the fun of getting the mic assembly into our wiffle ball. We're going to cut a doorway into the wiffle ball, but first we need to make sure we have the orientation correct. It's a ball, right? Well it is, but the hole arrangement really needs to be paid attention to. There is a top and a bottom hole. I use these to align everything. Identify those, and then notice that the rest aren't quite 100% symmetrical. We're going to use two on the top and two on the bottom for the hair bands holding the mic capsules. Before we do that, we're going to cut back a section that we will later glue back on and we will install the cold shoe mount. This is going in the bottom hole and lock down with a quarter inch nut and washer. Before cutting, locate the top and bottom holes again and mark off the section to cut out. This won't be symmetrical and that's actually okay. It makes it easier to align this later when we glue it back on. Use a razor knife and cut out the section. Now install the cold shoe mount using a quarter inch washer and a nut. Insert the cold shoe mount from the bottom and then put on a washer and then the nut. Tighten this down with the upper knurl nut on the cold shoe. We will align the whole thing so it points the mics forward before we glue the fur on and cover the mic. Now the fun part, floating the mic assembly with the hair bands. These mic holders are designed to use hair bands. Tom, my friend who designed these, swiped one from his daughter to measure it. I'm not sure if you put it back or not, but I played it safe and ordered mine on Amazon. And to make life easier still, I ordered ouchless ones. Snap a hair band on one side of the mic holder, top and bottom, then locate the pair of holes just in front of the top and bottom holes and feed the hair bands through from the inside, and then back down and hook it onto the mic holder. 
The first one's easy. The second one, not so much, but it is doable. A crochet needle really helps out here. The bottom hairband will go behind the coal shoe mount to add tension and to hold the mic holder in place. Now we need to cut a piece of the fur that will be hot glued on the wiffle ball to give us our built-in windscreen. I use one of the extra wiffle balls to measure the fur. We need a piece about 8 inches by 10 inches and then we're going to trim it a bit as it's glued on. I did some research on how to measure the surface of a sphere to map it or at least design a cutout. Turns out it's pretty easy with cloth and I made it even simpler. This is based on the geometric progression of a surface on a sphere and all that complex math assumes that the surface you're trying to represent the sphere on is flat. All the stitchers and craft people know that the fabric stretches. So what that means for us is we're going to cut out a simple pattern, a little bit oversized, glue and stretch it while cutting off any excess. I rolled a wiffle ball around on the fur while marking for cutting. You're going for a pattern that looks something like this. Isn't that perfect? After cutting, make sure that it will fit. Don't worry about the gap part yet. We're going to start gluing at the center of the fur and the front facing base of the cold shoe mount. Before starting, we need to use a tie wrap and secure the mic wiring, leaving a little bit of slack on the mic side. And then we also need to align the cold shoe so that the mic capsule is going to point forward while it's mounted on the camera. Find the right place on the fur, because we're using glue here. Apply a dab in front of the cold shoe and press the fur in. Now apply a swath of glue up the front portion of the wiffle ball and press the fur into that. It's going to stick out on the sides, which really isn't a problem, because we're going to fold it over and we're going to cut off any excesses. Trim and glue and work your way around. There will be a gap or two as we glue on the main piece. Cut out small sections and fill the gaps as necessary. The beauty of this is the fur lends itself to blending in without showing the gaps. It's better than a comb over. When all that is left is the access hole we originally cut out, grab the cutout piece and orient it so you know where it will fit in, and then cut a piece of fur to cover it and then hot glue it on. I held it in place and built up a bead of glue to bridge the place where we made the cuts. Fill in any gaps with fur. Aw, isn't this thing cute? It looks like a little tribble. Before using it on the camera, I used my shop back to suck away any loose fibers from all the fur cutting that we did. You really need to do this because you don't want loose fur getting on your lenses or worst case, inside the camera while changing a lens. In fact, I wouldn't change a lens while this is on my camera. So how's this thing sound? Well, other than listening to me narrate with you just now, let's put it on my Sony a7 III and try it out. All right, we're outside uh, with the furball microphone stuck on top of a Sony a7 III in your typical vlogging setup, I guess you would call it. And uh, <clears throat> it's November 25th, day before Thanksgiving. I'm gonna also get this same setup in front of an orchestra with my local high school and in front of a vocal singing group um, doing a Christmas carol. So we'll see how it sounds. So far, I think it, uh, Initial testing should be good, and uh, I don't know if vlogging is the perfect use for it, but uh, it's stereo, XY microphone, and uh, it's the furball mic. Yeah. Hey, this is Jules. This is the XY mic. I'm here on stage uh, checking everything out. We're going to have an orchestra behind me shortly, and let's see how this thing sounds compared to like a full mix with uh, the normal orchestra miking that I will be doing also. So we'll do a little side-by-side -side comparison and see how this bad boy sounds. Yeah.
old Santa Claus. Down through the chimney with lots of toys, all for the little one's Christmas joys. Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Oh, up on the housetop, click, click, click. Down through the chimney with good Saint Nick. First comes the stocking of little Nell. Oh, dear Santa, fill it well. Give her a dolly that laughs and cries, one that will open and shut her eyes. Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Oh, up on the housetop, click, 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 down through the chimney with good Saint Nick. Next comes the stocking of little Will. Oh, just see what a glorious film. Here is a hammer and lots of tacks, also a ball and a whip that tracks. Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Up on the housetop, click, 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 down through the chimney with good Saint Nick. Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Up on the housetop, click, 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 down through the chimney with good Saint Nick.